Hello everyone and welcome to another Ankbot tutorial. Today we're gonna go over one of the newer features of Ankbot. We're gonna go have a look at the raid assist. Uh, raid assist is something that will help you reward your viewers for raiding with you. You can find it in the dashboard and it's enabled through this little button over here. Uh, you got some key features on the dashboard. We'll go more into details in the settings soon. Uh, the first thing you have is the channel, the person who you're gonna raid. You don't have to insert a name here, but you can if you want to. And you can even start the raid here. I will go through more what this actually does, but you can do that from the dashboard, or you can use using the command in the chat. You can also stop the raid here and award all the reviewers, or abort the raid. This will not give any payouts to any of your viewers who raided with you, if you abort it. So, if we go into settings, we can see that we have a bunch of settings to go through here. The first one is the command. Quite obviously. What command do the broadcaster have to type in to trigger the raid assist? Um, it can be anything, but the default is raid, which is kind of self-explanatory and nice. Uh, the reward is how many currency points you will give out to each viewer who posts the raid message. Pretty straightforward. Uh, we have a feature to post a link to the stream we're raiding after a set amount of seconds. I have it to 6. You can use whatever number you want. But basically, when you trigger the command, it's gonna post instructions and it's gonna post the raid call for, or raid worm for viewers and subs to copy. And then it's gonna spam the link to the streamer. Uh, so I have a delay on 6 seconds before it posts the link after doing the command, and I have it to post the link 10 times. And that's what this slider is for. You can have it up to 20 times and at least one time. Or you could just remove this. Uh, we have an option to auto end the raid, which means that. The raid will automatically end after X amount of seconds and do the payout. If you don't have this checked, the raid will end when you use the cease message instead. Uh, and if you have neither, you have to actually go to the dashboard and click stop raid. That's also an option. Uh, it's really pretty straightforward so far. Uh, the first second box we have here is the instruction message. So, by default, or well, mine says, we're about to raid the target. Go to the channel and just wait. When Castanet1 says streamer message, that's the start message down here. And streamer message is a parameter you can use in this specific box if you want to, or you could just type it out, that's up to you. Uh, so I'm gonna say, we're about to raid the target, go to the channel and just wait. When Casterman 1 says streamer message, the raid begins. So that's gonna be posted as information about the raid. Uh, and then I have checked that we are waiting for me to post the start message before the raid actually tracks who is raiding. Otherwise it's gonna track right away after posting the links for raid worms. So now we actually, all the viewers have to wait for me to post first if they want to have the points for it. This is optional, but I like it. So my, yeah, where's my golden tights? That's gonna be my start message. So when the viewers see this in the target's channel, they are supposed to copy the raid call. They can either... The raid call is what the bot will be looking for. So anyone posting the raid call will earn currency. Then they can add emotes before or after, just as much as they want. As long as the raid call is in their message, it's gonna track it and give them points for it. Um, and this is just what it's gonna be looking for. This is not gonna be posted when you do the exclamation mark raid in your chat. I will show you how that looks in just a bit. Then we have the worms. We have two different worms. We have the raid worm for just regular viewers, preferably using only global emotes because it's boring when you raid and someone doesn't have the emotes. 
So for viewers, yes, just global emotes. Or do ones. And it's gonna say viewer copy and copy this. Me, who stole our golden tights, five will farm. It better be a single mom by Rich. And you can also have a different worm for subs. Both of these will be posted in chat when you do the raid command. I usually don't have it enabled, but I will have it enabled with the default message for this tutorial. So it's gonna be subs copy, Twitch trade, Twitch trade, 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 blah, blah, blah. And it's also gonna be raid call here in the middle. So I could remove all this and let them just have copy raid call. Which is a lot easier. So if I just change this, both of these will update. Uh, I got a cease message because I don't end it after a certain amount of time. I feel like I, I want to decide when the raid is over because some streamers you can raid a lot and some people you just want to raid for a few seconds. So I'm gonna say hi, Caster Morph, whenever the raid is supposed to be over, and then it's when the payout is gonna happen to all the viewers who got accounted in the raid by posting the raid call and then when I end it they will post the results for the reward in your channel so if we go to the console now uh, and we start the raid so I'm gonna do exclamation mark raid and we're gonna raid Fordler because it's live if you have target a channel that isn't live it's gonna give you an error um, which is Actually, really useful. In case you do a typo, it's not gonna post the wrong link ten times. So we're gonna do the raid forward. You can see that when I do this, this is my old command. So ignore that. This is custom command. We're about to raid forward. Go to the channel. And just wait. When Castor co says, "Where are my golden tights?" The raid begins. Viewers copy this, subs copy this, and then we have the link. And you can also see that the raid assist has connected to Fordar's channel. So anyone posting the raid message in his channel now will be rewarded when the stream or when the raid ends. So since we're actually not raiding and I don't have a cease message, I'm just gonna go to the dashboard, go back here, and I'm gonna stop the raid. I'm not gonna abort it because I feel like we very we, we raided. And then it takes just a second and then the following zero raiders have been rewarded 200 points. And since we didn't raid, of course, nobody is gonna get any points. So basically, that's how it works. Set up the settings, do the command, or start it through the dashboard. Then it's gonna post the information message. It's gonna pay or post both the worms, if you have them both enabled, viewers and subs. Then it's gonna post the link, if you have that enabled, after a delay or not, and X amount of times. And then when you end it, either by clicking stop raid, the timer runs out, or your seeds message, message, it's gonna reward all the viewers who were part of the raid. Hope this helps you understand how the raid assist works in Ankbot. Thanks for watching.